opening up the tower and uh, disengage the umbilicals. Okay. This uh, really nice uh, Baikonur scenery was made by Mustard and Brian J. It's called Baikonur LC1 Pad 5. And uh, this is also uh, on top of the uh, Zoyu series add on by Mustard and No Matter. So we're using the Vostok J add on by Jekka. Okay, so one minute till launch and everything is ready. So uh, I have to switch over now to the uh, R7. Here we are. We're going to global view so we can monitor the launch from there. I'm now inside the spacecraft. Pilot's view. Changing to attitude lather mode so that we can monitor the pitch rate. Okay, we're now 15 seconds from launch. Okay, 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition and launch of the R7. And now I'm starting pitch. Pitch rate should be roughly 1 degree every second so pitching nicely we're now leaving Baikonur seventy degree pitch altitude three kilometers altitude is now five kilometers up and seventy degrees pitch Continuing with pitch, altitude is now 10 kilometers up, sky is beginning to get dark, very deep blue, still continuing pitch, stars are coming out. We're now at 20 kilometers altitude. Pitching 50 degrees, sky is getting blacker and blacker. Once we reached a uh, pitch attitude of about 40 degrees from the horizon, the uh, strap on boosters would uh, fall away, expanded. Okay, that's gonna happen in a few seconds from now as we reach 40 degree pitch. Fuel at 60% 60, 60 in a few seconds. Okay, let's go to external view to watch the falling away of the uh, boosters. There we go. Boosters have fallen away. Continuing our pitch. We're now at 90 kilometers up, so we're at the edge of space. Okay, we're now 100k up. Officially, we're in now in space. We're going to pitch a bit downwards to control our altitude. You can now see the curvature of the Earth. We're going to remove the fairing or the cover for the Zoyus. There we go. Revealing the, uh, I mean the, uh, not the Zoyus, the Vostok 1 spacecraft. We are now flying or uh, passing over parts of Siberia or northern Russia. We can check that by our map here. There we go. Central Northern Russia.
Altitude currently is 168, 160, 170 kilometers up. Our target uh, perigee is uh, 180 plus. So we're close to that. We need to control our pitch so that we don't really fly or get too high. Fuel at 20%. you like 10% I mean 12% We're gonna be 10% in a few seconds fuel at 6% fuel at 3% the mains will run out in about 10 seconds or less okay speed is now six kilometers six and a half kilometers per second looking very good here looking really good managed to correct the uh, altitude so everything looks really good you will have the ability to reach 180 I guess okay with fuel to spare eccentricity of 254 which is a little high from historical we have achieved good orbit we can actually correct this right now by doing a retrograde burn. I'm going to orient the spacecraft retrograde. And use the uh, second stage, or in this case it looks more like our service module here, to uh, put eccentricity down several notches yep that would look like a good orbit these are some of the things that Yuri Gagarin himself wasn't able to do because the controls were uh, locked in his case to prevent him from messing up with the controls just in case well that's according to the uh, space authorities the, uh, the effects of space travel might impair his judgment so here we are and we can take a peek inside to see how Yuri is doing there's Yuri oops, my head hi Yuri how are you doing? So um, all we need to do right now is actually, uh, oops, just wait until we uh, encounter the uh, coast of Africa w when we will be doing the uh, the re-entry burn. So um, I'm gonna record that as a separate uh, uh, video, but to show you that I'm not cheating and I'm still using the same scenario I'm going to do a control S save right now and continue off later so having achieved a stable orbit this is comrade Rodion <laughs> signing off bye bye